Hi folks and welcome to Money Mental UK, the YouTube channel dedicated to money and mental health. For those of you new to the channel, my name's Andrew, I'm a part-time eBay reseller and I'm a mental health advocate. And today we have got another episode of From the Cow Shed. Um, I haven't been to the cow shed, oh look at my hair, it's appalling. I haven't been to the house shed for, cow, house shed, cow shed, let's go with cow shed, for over a week. Um, because I've just been too busy working away and stuff. But I've bought another load of stuff to take, um, put in a load of stocks to put in the cow shed. Um, I'm slowly emptying my house, although I have bought a load of stuff at um, a jumble sale uh, yesterday. So now I've got bags full of stock from that. But yeah, um, sales have been uh, really poor of late on eBay. Um, really, really poor. So I'm going to have to... Um, really work through my backlog of stock now uh, i'm stopping all sourcing whatsoever um because i know i've been on sourcing bands before but still got tempted into into buying stock uh, i can't do any of that at the minute um november and december are my most expensive months of the year which is normally fine because when we're in q4 with ebay um i normally sell loads of stuff so it's it's never normally uh, much financial pressure for me but sales have been really poor this this is it's this feels like a, you know a, a sort of summer slowdown period it definitely doesn't feel like a q4 at all so i am yeah not sourcing anything i'm not spending a penny on sourcing this month uh or next month um that jumbo sales the last sort of pickups i've i've done so um yeah so stopping sourcing um which is not really a huge issue for me because I've got a backlog of thousands and thousands of items so I don't need to source so I'm just going to concentrate on banging out the listings getting a good turnover of stock getting stuff out the door as quickly as I can and um, maybe actually reducing some of the stock levels in the cow shed as well which would be good um, because there's a huge backlog in there that needs working through as well as in my house so yeah um, that's the plan Anyway, I'm here at the cow shed, so I'm going to pop him. I'm going to uh, take these boxes in, and I'm going to see what state it's in as well. All right, see you in a bit, folks. Okay, so we're back in the cow shed. Um, I've been losing the love for the cow shed the last sort of few days, um, just with some of the issues I've had. But I'm feeling it back again today, um, mostly because I've just seen how much stuff there is as well. And this is just the pile that I just bought in now. Uh, on top of my new desk which needs to go upstairs when I sort that out but yeah this is so much stuff in here it's unreal um, that all needs sorting through everything that's in a cardboard box needs to come out of a cardboard box and go into you know some of these really useful boxes going forward um, but you know hopefully I'll actually sell some of the stock as well um, which will mean that I don't need to buy too many more really useful boxes because they're not cheap um, and then obviously I've got my shelves which are still empty at the minute, they all need filling. Um, should get some more shelves for Christmas, as that's what I've asked for for Christmas, how exciting. And the mezzanine still needs to be filled up, so there's still plenty of room, but I've still got a fair amount of stock at home to bring in as well, so this is going to be fun. Anyway, I'm going to go home, I'm going to get another load of stuff uh, to bring along, um, just so I can feel like I've done two loads of of stuff today and then i'm going to try and set up my new photography studio at home as well um sales are starting to come in today finally um which is which is good i had my worst day in months yesterday which is a saturday i only sold uh, a three pound 99 game um so that is absolutely ridiculous um for a saturday in november with thousand items listed um i yeah i i just can't believe that that's uh even happened um normally on a saturday i'm 20 to 25 items even on a you know a slow saturday so that's just really uh sort of um a bit of a shock to the system but it's also encouraging me to do a, a lot more listing this week as well which can only be a good thing right i'm going to pop back home and get some more stuff see you in a bit so here we are youtube in one of my bathrooms my downstairs shower room um I ordered some really useful boxes from Robert Diaz um, online, um, four of them, because we're doing three for four uh, with an additional 15% off, um, which is a really good deal. Um, but yeah, look, 
this is the state they've arrived in and these are really useful boxes these are pretty tough to break as well so um, yeah not impressed at all um, really not um, so I've, I'm just sticking to Amazon in the future if I'm going to mail order some really useful boxes because they um, they always get the cost a bit more but they always get them to me in one piece I've had a refund um, I had to fight for that uh, but I've had a refund on the uh, the cost of the boxes um, so you know that's one small silver lining but I'm now two boxes short of um, where I need to be really so um, that's pretty annoying and I, I don't have faith in them to order another set of boxes from them so I'm going to have to pay up and get some from Amazon instead because um, Amazon is still cheaper than they are in uh, in town so yeah that's annoying um, so I'm just going to take one more car load to the cow shed and um, then uh, I can come back home and package um, some orders see you in a bit folks okay so I'm back in the cow shed and it's wrap up time um, I've put more stuff in the cow shed more boxes more boxes more boxes it is getting full and um, yeah need some uh, good organization applying to it but I just want to get everything out of the house first before I come in and start organizing all this stuff because um, uh, yeah the house is still I would say about probably 40% full of stock um, which is a lot better than it was so it's moving forward in the right direction but yeah still a lot more to do and those two boxes that would have been another 160 litres of stuff I could have bought down so it's disappointing that they're not working I might tape them up and use them to store some stuff um, that I'm not uh, too worried about um, yeah I might get some duct tape and tape them up and, and see if I can do something that way but yeah that's just annoying um, I think I have got another two or three boxes in the house from a previous order uh, which I can now get to because they were buried away um, but we are running out of box capacity I'm going to empty a couple of boxes and put some of the stuff on the shelves um, because the cow shed is now dry um, which is good so yeah I'm going, to, I'm going to put some stuff on the shelves that should hopefully free up some uh, some boxes um, but I'm absolutely shattered um, what you see on YouTube isn't always what goes on. I've had a lot of other stuff to deal with today. I had my email account hacked, slash my website hacked, slash that's caused quite a lot of. Uh, it's still not resolved. I can't get the hosting provider to take my concerns seriously at all. Um, so yeah, I've I've lost my temper with them. So uh, that's annoying. But hey, we're still here. We're still plodding on. I'm back in love with the cow shed, so that's good. And um, yeah, I'll see you on the next video, folks. Take care. Bye for now.